2021 has been just an alright year so far in terms of movies. This isn't much of a surprise considering it's a year following the worst year for movies in cinematic history, 2020. There are a few movies in 2021 that I like or love, a couple that are extremely mediocre, and a handful of bad movies. But one thing all these movies have in common are cliches. Of course cliches are almost unavoidable, however it's the job of the director and writers to leave them out entirely because there are literally endless possibilities when it comes to writing a movie. Most movies are fictional, so you can go about the writing process any way you want, but somehow, some way, movies continue to go down the same path with their execution time and time again. Now, I could focus on movies from many different years and decades, but thought it was the best idea to make this video about the movies of 2021. Since they are the most relevant as of now, and it helps that I continue to notice tons of cliches at the movie movies this year. So let's dig right into the issue of cinematic staleness and how formulaic movies are killing Hollywood. First and foremost, I want to establish two things. There is a difference between cliches and a formulaic story. In my own definition, a formulaic story is the story of a movie that feels unoriginal and like something you've seen before a thousand times. On the other hand, formulaic execution, otherwise known as cliches, are how certain scenes are written or executed in a similar way to some Something you've seen done before. With that being said, let's establish what the Hollywood formula is as well as dig into this year's movies and their cliches. If you're a movie buff like myself, you may have noticed that every genre has its own formula. For the action genre, think James Bond or Mission Impossible. Usually we have the hero and villain. The villain may seek to commit an act of terrorism or they could have personal beef with the hero and the hero has to stop them. Typically there are three to five action scenes and maybe a romance. Horror movies more than half the time involve a haunting or some form of serial killer slash scene of murder. If it's about a haunting, whether it may be a family or single person fighting this entity, they'll go through hell fighting against the thing until they eventually defeat it. And in serial killer horror movies, most of the time the killer murders multiple people before being killed themselves by the main character. As for the romance genre, girl and guy meet, they fall in love, something bad happens causing them to break up, and in the end they get back together. Together. The same goes for comedies except they swap romance with comedy. You get the picture now. The truth is, it's difficult to avoid these formulas since so many movies make millions while still using them. But it'd be nice if movies could switch it up now and then. Like as much as I love the James Bond franchise, I can't deny that the plot of almost every movie is pretty similar and I'm not totally sure what else they can do to make future installments feel more special. Luckily, not every movie follows the typical Hollywood genre formula. Some some directors like Martin Scorsese and Quentin Tarantino have invented formulas of their own that always knock it out of the park. And every now and then we are gifted with a great movie that uses zero formula and is unpredictable. Think movies like Hereditary or Whiplash. So now this brings me to the year 2021, a film year that has yet to have a single movie without using the Hollywood formula or multiple cliches. At least out of the movies I've seen, it's rare we even get a movie where no cliches have Happen, if ever. And let me say, I've reached my breaking point in terms of frustration after watching a few movies that came out this year. Small spoilers ahead for some of the films that have come out already this year. Kicking off 2021 was The Little Things, a new crime thriller with a star-studded cast. And it's just a cliched crime thriller. I swear I've seen a hundred movies with the same exact plot of this one. There is absolutely nothing special about the movie outside of the cast. Your time just gets completely wasted watching The Little Things. There is no point. Then along came Tom and Jerry, the HBO Max movie, another comedy for children that uses an abundance of cliches and does not even attempt to make its story feel original, leading to a ton of predictability. But Chaos Walking has to be the first instance of a movie this year where I reached my breaking point. And it all has to do with this one cliche. In the finale of Chaos Walking, the villain of the film, played by Mads Mikkelsen, has Tom Holland's character on the ropes and has a great opportunity to kill him. So what do you think happens in this moment? Do you think A. He kills Holland, B. He gets crushed by an ice cream truck, C. Sings a song, or or D, waste time talking to Tom instead of killing him right away, giving Tom a chance to think of how to kill Mads, leading to Mads' eventual death.
Welp, could have seen that coming, but it can't get much worse than that, right? Well, actually, never mind, it can. Following chaos walking was without remorse, yet again another cliched formulaic disaster. The plot is just another revenge movie where Michael B. Jordan searches for the one responsible for his wife's murder. There are several elements in the film we've seen time and time again, and the movie even decides to add in a twist villain cliche along with a fake death cliche. As for those who wish me dead, the newest Taylor Sheridan movie, it appears he's lost his touch because, well, it's about as formulaic as you can get for a drama thriller. They even add in this really dumb bad guy on a newscast cliche where one of the characters sees the crimes of our main antagonist on the news before their eventual encounter. It's just the same thing I've seen over and over again. Then we have Army of the Dead, which went down the same predictable route that a lot of zombie movies go down. A Quiet Place Part 2, despite being the best movie I've seen all year so far, did have a few eyebrows rolling cliches, like the cliche where someone comes in for the last minute save, and Paramount Plus's Infinite had so much potential with its concept alone. Unfortunately though, it may have been the most predictable movie I've seen all year. On top of that, F9 felt like just another Fast and Furious movie, adding nothing new to the franchise. It's basically the same exact movie again for the fourth time in a row. I seriously have no idea what else they could possibly do at this point, and I'm pretty sure that most people would not mind if this franchise franchise died altogether. Plus, Black Widow, which is the most recent movie I've seen, is just another MCU movie. Nothing special whatsoever, as if we haven't seen this before. So take it for what you will, but don't expect a new, mind-blowing MCU movie going into Black Widow. And even all these trailers feel the same too. Just look at the editing, hear the sound design, and the overall craft. They're all similar. So by now, you probably get the point. Movies just aren't that original anymore. At least the blockbusters aren't. So what What's the answer? Well, the simple answer is stop using cliches. I mean, it's really not hard. I've seen enough unconscious people miraculously coming back to life. I've seen enough twist villains, and I've certainly seen enough of this. It's the mind. Just please, for the love of God, stop doing that. But this all may be a little deeper. Maybe the fix isn't so simple like the snap of a finger. Movies nowadays, in particular blockbusters, are so attached to the Hollywood formula that filmmakers have no idea how to shake up their movies. I feel like the 2010s is when all of this started. Before that, a lot of movies felt original and had their own inventive formula. Since then though, every movie feels like it's trying to copy another. The issue is, every movie tries to be a crowd pleaser when in reality, they don't have to be. Movies try to feel overly cinematic because they think that's the best way to make money. However, who's to say that a movie can't still make tons of money while doing something a little more risky? Look at the Fast and Furious movies, for example. When Fast Five came out, it was a smash hit and completely reinvented the franchise. We can say the same thing about the James Bond movies. Casino Royale, while a different take on the iconic character, got people back on board with the franchise and brought home a nice wallet too. All I'm saying is, why can't franchises start doing this again? And why can't solo films do the same thing? I mean, after all, your goal should be to land a potential franchise. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Infinite. You don't want to just squander it after your first attempt. Films that should not have sequels but do are in the same boat as well. For instance, Sicario. Who would have thought it'd get a sequel? Movies like that never do. They're always one and done. But I guess creating your own formula truly does pay off. So after saying all of this, my number one request for future films is please stop putting cliches in your movies and try to think of new inventive ways to make your movies feel fresh because a lot of movies in present day just don't. So now I want to hear all of your thoughts. Do you think movies are starting to get bland and unoriginal or am I thinking too deep into it? Please let me know down below in the comments section. And of course guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and want to see more content like this, definitely click that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope as always you all have a fantastic day.